don't see anything else glowing. Oh gosh. I wasn't even looking forward. I just was not prepared for that. Okay. Let's let's get out of here. I am having a grand old time. Yeah. Walking through a river of blood, sea of blood. Oh my while well, something is stalking me. Oh I don't like this. Can you move a little fast? I don't like these sounds. Can you move a little faster? Oh my gosh, keep moving. Think behind me. Oh, at least it sounds like he is. Oh my god, keep moving, Ashley Tisdale. There we go. Ooh, she does not look good. Oh gosh. Oh uh, yeah, she is in a pool of blood. 394 feet, 22, 12 hours. However you say that. Eric? Eric? Where are you? I think the others were about like 150 something, 160 something feet. Not even 200, she's over 300 feet down. We're gonna have a fun time getting out of here. I wonder if I had cut it, if she'd been, if she would have been able to tell that it was a clean cut. Oh gosh, we are in a literal sea of blood. Uh. Let's look around. Yes, yeah, probably isn't the best, this probably isn't the right time to look around for clues, I imagine. Oh my god, everything's on fire. Now this looks like a literal hell. Oh, oh, okay. Uh. Okay, what is this? Okay. Plastic ID card. Oh my gosh, is it? Can that actually get me? An ID card belonging to an aid worker found among the bodies at the bottom of the chasm. The aid worker was registered as missing. It looks like dozens of missing persons have been dumped in the cave beneath the farm. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Am I gonna have to actually like pay attention to where it is and actually avoid it. Can we go this way? And I should, I should stay looking forward. Okay, what do we got here? It's like a helmet almost. Secret found ancient helmet. Yep. An ancient helmet of unknown origin bearing a clawed gash. No doubt from these creatures. Okay. Oh uh, boy. Let's keep going this way. Should I try going this way? I'm so nervous. Oh, okay. I want to get this. Ooh, one of the journal pages. Someone and I descended to the... As we left, I was struck by the temperament. She seemed eager, almost manic, in the face of our new discovery. When we reached the bottom, Quo could not prevent himself. Before getting in the dizzying vault, Leia, something loathsome, colossal, and sleeping. A great carcass, built in... Shite. <laughs> Overcome with awe, I did something. I'm like so nervous that they're gonna grab me while I'm reading it. I'm assuming I'm safe there. Forgive us. For days Ooh, yay. We have studied this Unlock the special feature. Realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear 
Mother Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. Okay. So she wound up this far down. Yeah. Okay. I think I can just continue this way. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Get me out of here. Please and thank you. I don't see anything else below me. Oh gosh! I wasn't even looking forward. I just was not prepared for that. Okay. Let's, let's get out of here. I think we're good. Yeah, let's go. Get out of this bloodbath, literally. It's funny, because in all, like, the... Like, I remember in the trailer, at the end of uh, Little Hope, and a lot of, like, the promotional material and stuff, you see her covered in blood. Now we know how. <laughs> okay, what you doing? Making a torch. Smart. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yep, I knew it. I knew they were hiding under there. Yeah, now this is starting to feel like a literal hell, you know. Just, just rivers of blood. The fire, you know, the fire everywhere. I'm certainly getting those vibes. I'm glad you survived, Ashley Tisdale. What the hell is that? That light down there? Oh! I am scared. Okay, I see this glowy thingy here. Ooh, it's a picture. A skull? It looks like a basilisk skull or something. Okay, saliva. We have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the su uh, substance have experienced heart palpitations and a frightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects, such as a change to colors. We have attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. Who would M be? I'm not sure if we know. The smell was so overpowering that the respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all times when handling samples to avoid becoming affected. Good call. Sensation similar sensation similar to experience with mushrooms. Silo seven, baby? Is that silo seven? Some kind of chemical. Interesting. So that was the uh, so the so the saliva induces like fear, maybe hallucinations. God, I hope this I hope this isn't some kind of weird hallucin hallucination thing going on again. Okay, so we got that. Continue forward. I am having a grand old time. Yeah, walking through a river of blood, sea of blood. Oh my! While something is stalking me. 
Oh my gosh. Bring it on. I am so ready. Oh! I don't like this. Can you move a little fast? I don't like these sounds. Can you move a little faster? Oh my gosh, keep moving. Think behind me. Oh, at least it sounds like he is. Oh my god, keep moving, Ashley Tisdale. Like, I don't know if this thing can actually catch up to me, but I'm afraid to stop moving. Okay. There he is. It's just sunlight up here, not fire, unfortunately. Run for your life! Okay. Who the, uh, who's that? Oh, hey! Hey, Clarice. Don't know how you survived, but we good. Okay, back to these guys. Powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors, they're grossly malformed and discolored. Oddly, out of place. Like, I don't know when's a good time to stop, but I'm just, I was trying to keep playing. To originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. Yep. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Be careful of that saliva. Don't eat it. <laughs> Not that I know why you would. Illuminating evidence. Oh, we saw that. Eric burned one of the creatures with the UV wand during an autopsy. Okay. And we know that was one of the good things. I'm not sure what I did to uh, get that. I even just got a trophy. I'm not sure what exactly I did to, you know... Cause that, but cool. Cool check. Is that you? I guess now we know UV light can set him on fire, right? That's a good thing. And that's not working at all. Okay, who do we have? Who do we have there? Salim? Somebody else? Oh, that's the gasoline leak. Gotta be careful about that. Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and see. Let me check one thing. What the heck is that noise? Wrong shot. My apologies. No, we don't even know if there's a transmitter on the surface. Ah. Those wires gotta go somewhere though. You think they still work? Well, looks to These me things like make very grotesque up. sounds. Uh oh. Just Behind you! Don't feel much like climbing out there. Oh. Oh, is the general guy? Oh! Hey, Joe. E. Oh, oh. Okay. He's got devil horns growing out of his head. Oh, oh. Stab him in the heart. I was trying to go for his head and it wouldn't let me. I'm like, oh no. Oh my god. Nice! We learn things. Bye bye, Joey.
So now what the heck does that mean? Now we got more questions. Okay, back to these two. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. Okay, who am I? So I guess I'm playing as Rachel because Clarice is not one of the playable characters. I didn't know that you could fight. Yeah, me either. <laughs> who was that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? Down here. One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. No, I, uh, she, she was helpful. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. You gotta Semper find Fi. Out of this hole. So, this is where you this can hide it now. Hell hole? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? I just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. Did that ever cross your mind? Okay, chill out. I've been. I've, we've both seen some shit. Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still. Um, thanks, Clarice. Ah, I figure they were both appreciative. I figure that would be a, li a little bit more in line than her being like, Oh, you know, so, those scenes so thankful. These people must have been in the valley a long time. <laughs> uh oh. Don't die on me now. There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. She definitely looks sickly. She might have the disease that uh, that other lady had, the explorer lady had. It's barely climbable. Mary or the other one, Aline. How did I know you were gonna say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. Nathan, it's Nathan Drake 101. Uh oh. Oh, what now? Okay, that looks hu again, that looks human. Maybe what's his face will still be around, uh. Oh, what's his face? More. That, you know, the the other guy who died at the start of last episode. That we suffocated. Maybe he also turned into one of those things. Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. I hope it does. You look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational <laughs> speaking? I do wonder, though. Maybe, I'm starting to think, maybe... Maybe this is some kind of, like evolutionary disease sort of process so like maybe i don't know if death is involved with this but maybe they come down with some disease like i think she has it and then maybe they slowly start to turn into you know the, what we saw david with the horns and this kind of creepy zombie looking guy and then maybe from there they like you know maybe that's like uh, the first or second stage and then maybe there's like a third or fourth stage and you know and the further along they get they eventually turn into these gargoyle things I don't know. Seriously, though, are you okay? That's got to be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. I don't think any of us are okay. Give me the silent treatment, huh? Hmm? 
I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Bad thing is, you don't even see it. What exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you, you know? Not, not even a wall, a mountain. Mm. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? <sighs> okay, let's try and be a little more playful. It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking your language I grew up on Easy Street. Easy Street? I had to graph to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Hmm. Yeah. I sense a story there. And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. You and I, we're not so different. Yeah, she's definitely dying. We're both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> she's gonna, like, transform before me, and I'm gonna have to kill her, aren't I? I don't see those horns just like protrude through a hat. Freeze. What did that thing do to you? Please. Please don't leave me down here alone. Um. It's okay. I'm here. No man left behind or a woman. I'll leave you. I promise. But you have to tell me. What did that thing do to you? That's what I wanna know. I don't know if this was the right call, to be honest. Today. It may help you, but we need to move. Now! <clears throat> yeah. Cause again, honestly, she's not one of my main cast, so... Part of me was like tempted to just like screw you. Cause if I if I if I stay too close with her, she might transform and attack. You know, you know. On the wrong side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> we must try. Her, first, first try. That was impressive. Wait. You really believe those medicines will help me? Uh, yeah. Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Yeah. Me hope. We can do this. Rachel consoled Clarice when she became ill. Okay, hopefully that's a good thing. Swing! Batter, batter. Okay. Uh oh. I was gonna say that uh, that's so me right now with my freaking cold. Uh, help. <laughs> Rachel, help Clarice cross the castle. I don't know if this is a good thing. Ugh. My. I feel like my, uh. My good heartedness will backfire on me. You okay? That answer your question? I think she's gonna turn into what Joey turned into. Probably feels like I really should abandon her, but 
we'll see what happens. Once again, we haven't seen Salim for quite some time. Nick, chasm, 2353 hours. Yeah, see, like, he's at 159 feet. She's like 300 something feet <laughs> down. Did it say Eric or Nick? I think it said Eric, right? I'm not seeing anything come up, but I can hear them. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. Okay. There's something right behind me. Ooh, another tablet. Oh, that doesn't look good. That's obviously one of the bad ones. What even happened? Let me see it one more time. I see a creep. Oh, oh, I see. I see the hand is around his neck. Again, it looked like it might have been a humanoid creature. Okay. We just got one more one more bad premonition and one more good one to find. Just get that light up. Oh, I see something over here. Find catalog one. Van Helsing. No, I'm kidding. Van Hutton. Okay, I guess we're going to open this up and read a little bit. An increasing number of find reference to the curse of Naram Sin. Naram Sin. This sermon on the relationship between gods and kings that dates to the Ur Third period of Mesopotamia. Naram Sin is an Akkadian king, grandson of Sargon the Great, founder of the Akkadian Empire. The historical record shows him as a pious man who honored the gods. However, the man presented in the cursed stories is very different. The mythic Naram Sin is a job, oh, Job-like figure, abandoned by the deities. He rages against the gods, then wages war on them. This blasphemy is repaid with curses, the first of which is an inv invasion of Gutian mountain tribes. Yeah, that was the other tribe that they were fighting. This war causes a famine that destroys Naram Sin's people. The moral is that man must accept suffering, however mysterious and unknowable the gods' intentions. Norm Sin should have endured the trials, no matter how arduous. In picking a fight with the gods, Norm Sin fought a battle he could not win. Yeah, so that, that's got to be the guy we saw at the beginning of the uh, game. All their fighting is never saw the light of day. They Fine catalog. This document reveals that the gods cursed King Norm Sin for waging war on them. Yeah, and that, that's what we—that's what they said at the start. But there might be more to it. Buried in the dust. A29 clay tablet, cuneiform on one side. This cuneiform is a holy chant to ward away evil spirits. Oh, these are these are the clay tablets we found, at least some of them. I think we have A29 and A59, right? Clay tablet showing arrangement of stars, undated Mesopotamian. The constellation looks like Cetus. Do these stars have significance to the temple priests? Okay, A143, I don't think we have. Fragment from a hematite cylinder seal. Decorated with vertical columns of cuneiform surrounding an image of a large Gutian city. The Akkadians believe the Gutians were demons. This find suggests they were more civilized than previously reported. Okay. Cool beans. All clear for now. If they hit us, my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. To that. Of unknown size in their home turf. It's out to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. Fix it up, call in the cavalry, finish it up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. Damn it. Barricade of loud close air support. Those birds could have picked up the signal. Trust our brass to fuck you in the ass. Mm. 
Okay, find the radio. It's right over there, right? That's the book we just looked at, right? Oh, another. Maybe this is the other tablet. Uh, this is R73. Battle tablet. A carved tablet depicting a battle between ancient armies. There's a catalog label on its rear. Maybe there's another catalog we find them that has the rest of these. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else. I saw something else that said... Where is it? That said new. The journal entry depicts... Describes how Mary Hodgson fell ill to a strange infection while working in the star chamber. That's right. That's the one we... We found underground. Van Houten, new finds for cataloging. Clay jars, Akkadian times four, bone pipe, dagger ornamented, seated, nude statue, star glyph, AJ. Jesus. Notes for paper. The specimen defies biology as we know it. How long have these entities lived beneath our feet? Do they awaken every few centuries to prey on us? The Akkadians knew them, if only in ancestral memory. Pazuzu's form is clearly a, depic a depiction of them. I theorize that their attacks have informed the folklore of humanity itself. An Ur myth that permeates across cultures, the winged demon, the horned satyr, the minotaur, the vampire. Interesting. Okay, let me check that clue. Oh. These typewritten notes hint the creature's saliva has a poisonous effect on humans. Okay, we read that already. These notes speculate that sightings of the creatures may have inspired mythological beings from Pazuzu to the modern vampires. If true, the creatures have preyed on humans for millennia. Oh, that's wild that these are like the real ones and that all the iterations throughout the history that we've had are just different versions of these creatures. If that's the case, that's pretty dope. Pretty cool, I must say. Okay. Is this the radio? Because if it is, I don't want to touch it yet. Oh, no. Some other secret. Lots of clues here. Oh, this is Mary. Infection symptoms. Okay, Mary's the one who had the infection. These notes describe the so shocking symptoms of an unknown and deadly infection. It seems that exposure to the creatures can cause severe sickness. Patient history, name Mary, age and sex, unknown. 30th December, 200. Oh, 200. Temp, 100.5. That's a lot. Well, I guess that's a decent fever. Sweating, 8 ounces saline. O330, temp, 100.7. Fahrenheit, pulse, 152. Subject awake, not lucid. 1100, attempt 101. This is getting higher. Subject sweating and uh, jaund jaundice, not lucid. Antipyretics have no had no effect. 1215, temp 101, same, so same. Pulse 165, brief luc lucidity. Says she has had visions of darkness and that she can taste the color red. <laughs> I, I do love me the color red. Slips into unconsciousness. Whoops, wrong button. Wake screams about monsters in the dark, increasingly jaundice and feverish. 1800, temp 100.9, so it's gone down a little. Pulse still rapid, about 150, sleeping. Two days since exposure to the entity. So she is not doing well. So like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what Clarice has. And maybe maybe um, Joey, if he survived, maybe he got it. And that's how you turn into these things. Okay, I, I looked at that, I looked at that. That's the same tablet we looked at already, right? Just making sure I don't miss anything. Okay, yeah, yep, that's the book. Can't go that way. I'm pretty sure the whatchamacallit we're looking for is that way.
Okay, I'm assuming we can't go this way because we're looking for the radio. Yeah, there's nothing up here, it looks like. This is one of the things I absolutely love about the game. I love just finding all the clues and the secrets and trying to piece together what the heck's going on. On top of all the spookies, the spookiness that we have to put up with as well. Okay, let's see what's down here. Oh, another journal, yay. At 29th of December, Pullman says the radio has been something once is cut off from the outside world. Arlene fought in the... She's responsible. Personally, I still have a doubt. Unintelligible. Although, without proof, everyone remains a suspect. All I can now is place sentries. Which you did. Mistake. Oh, no! Okay. It's alright. We can, uh... I was trying to... Oh, I want it. It's fine. We can watch the, uh... I'm pretty sure we can wa watch the video, right? 30th of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, hmm. Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out. Clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew. Yeah, it seems like they're turning into these things. I was, after a while, able to calm my wife. Dang. I don't know if I caught that already, but Mary is Rudolph's wife then. They, I might, they might have, that might have been clear by this point. I just didn't realize. Cool. Good, I'm... I'm I think there's ten of these journals. So only four more to go. Up. Oh. Is this the one I found already? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, that's right, and then I went that way. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go up here. Before I touch that, I will look around up here. Yeah, there's something on the other side. A map. Secret. They set up a fake dig site to draw. The map shows the location of a fake dig near the temple excavation. Nobody knew the archaeologists were here. So are they saying like somebody lured him down there? Where did they make a fake map? Whatever was down there. Pretty special. Ah, oh, okay. Got it. I think we're good. I think we can just go to the, uh... I think we just go right ahead to this. I'm gonna use a hand to get this up and running. Thing looks like it was sabotaged. Oh, sabotage? We gotta work with what we have. Fall back. I'm gonna say that every time they say that word, just inside. so you know. Gotta get this. Thank you. Yay! Got it working. Good job, Sergeant. Here's a cookie. No, let's not Please smoke. Kill you, yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. True that, but... What's good? It's nothing. Eric figured out that Rachel was seeing Nick. Ooh. Oh, because she has the lighter? Ooh, boy. That's the one thing that's not going well so far in this playthrough. Is this whole drama? Is 
just a ghost signal, Jim. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up the same signal. It's just ghost, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merlin was here, though, he could fix it. Well, he ain't. Embrace the suck. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's Salim. Hey. Salim, aguanta. Shh. Oh, Mara, you didn't. Salim escaped the Americans and reunited with Dar. Hopefully, that's good. Hopefully, you can vouch for us. You're crazy. He's not. Gotta stop him, Salim. Oh, that hurts my ears. My ear holes. Get that transmitter working now. I need more time. We don't have more time. Now or never. Colonel, get back inside the temple. I'm staying here. I need you on the cameras in case we get flanked. I got this. Lieutenant, I... I said I got this. Go! Oh, dang it. Oh boy, things are getting intense. Okay, okay. I couldn't even see where he was. But I knew he'd behind one of those pillars. So ready. I don't have a clear shot. Get get him out. Uh. 
cut. Nice. Come on. Hello there, rabbit. We got the shot. You might want to leave. Push forward into the temple. We live to fight another day. Good job, guys. Rachel. Wait, Rachel. Stay back. She's about to get real in here. Wait. Rachel. Rachel. Yay. How did they get up there, though? They were so far down. But whatever, whatever. You're alive. Have any doubt, Marie? Okay, a little close. Eric's not gonna like that. That's how those things take you. <laughs> yeah, I, I can already imagine. Yep, Eric figured out that Rachel was seeing Nick. Rach? But he's not saying anything. And now Nick's like, damn it. I held on as long as I could, but the rope snapped. I, I didn't cut it. I wouldn't. I know. <clears throat> get, get some of that love back. You good? It's him, isn't it? I understand you're not the brightest, Nick, but even you must know what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe that's not the best You've been time for this. Happened to you. <laughs> uh, Eric. That's the best you got. Stop it. Both of I you. Know it's him, Rich. I know. You better step off before I start swinging, Colonel or no Colonel. I mean, Eric has a right to be uh. Don't Nick. A bit, a bit pissed. Uh, I tried waiting, Eric. I really did. I'm sorry. Always loyal. You held on. I didn't. Oh. What the fuck is happening to her? She's infected. She, she's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her? She needs our help. She's beyond help. She shouldn't be here. Bree, we got Wait! She's one of us. Step aside, Rachel. It's Say the thing. Point. She can't be saved. She can't possibly know that. You heard the man. Now step aside. Jason, please. Don't do it. On you. Get and yeah, Rachel persuaded the group to help Clarice. I don't know if this is the right decision. I really, really don't. But I want to be the good guy here. I feel like I might come to that. Oh, that's gonna cause a fire, isn't it? We can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. I need help. Can't let any of those things through.
Oh, uh, here they come. This section is long. <laughs> Shit, is there one of them now? Fuck, that's all we need. Is this place mine? No, you're not. Come on, let's go. Uh, what's up? Okay, we're switching perspectives. Get that, get that. Back to Rachel. Oh. You worthless pile of shit. Okay. Your brute force is working, apparently. Yes. Use the gun. Any objections? Hold the line. The perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Come on, come on. There's got to be something. Wait. Yes. Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Down? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east. Probably a good decision. Oh. There they are. Go get the gate. Uh Yes. I was not giving up. It's all right. Ooh, you got this. You got it. You got it. Now we're talking. Okay. I better not mess up. Yeah, this is so cool. Shekhov's gun. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Get out of there, Jason. Nice. Oh, there's a door. I say head for the door. Keep 
Power up. Okay. We are at Eric now. Kinda. Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. I really don't know what to feel about Chloe's and her situation. Oh my gosh, this guy. Hello again. My friends are not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened out there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Okay, we got you surrounded. Okay. Oh, this might be where he puts his hands up. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. I don't trust any one of you. It's them. We must get this door open. I thought Salim and we were. Why are you standing there? We're pals. Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Move. Come on, man. <laughs> Them. I'll cover the corridor. Shit. No. Oh, Malhadi. Ayena, Mateka Mosara. Yeah, you know I'm an Ayadi. Come on, Clarice. What's wrong with her? She's one of us. It's all you need to know. <laughs> That's where this conversation ends. You letting a fox in the hen house. She will turn, and you know it. Can't give up hope. She's coming with us. For God's sake, she's one of us. This isn't looking good. Goof stuck with Clarice when her infection worsened. Like, I really think this is a mistake. I don't know. They've given me so many opportunities to like, to like ditch her. <laughs> Man, I've been playing for two hours. I gotta end this video soon. <laughs> Eric, sacrificial chamber, 350, Okay, we are very deep now. So it's not that they climbed up, we went deeper. This looks like the worst place in the goddamn world. Clarice, get up! Clarice! Okay. 
Now might be the time. Oh. She just up and died? Cleese succumbed to infection and died. Sounds like that might not be the end of her. Should we shoot her anyway? Uh oh. I just, these things are so creepy looking. Survive the assault. Zombie! Yes. He was right. Okay. You're up, Nick. Oh my gosh, it's him, it's him. Balathu came back as one of the undead. Okay, uh, a rifle? Something you gotta save him. Oh, ouch. You live. I took an injury, great. But I saved what's her face, Rachel, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, I'm trying to keep up with all these. Salim took an injury, and Nick took an injury. Great, everyone. Is that Clarice? Okay. She's probably gonna kill this guy. We got we gotta take out Clues. Rachel. No, we're gonna save him. Oh my gosh, I missed it. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. I even I accidentally like touched the the pause button at the same time. The touchpad. Oh my god. Please. Oh my gosh. One of the creatures cornered Rachel in the catacombs and infected her. But I'm not dead? I'm probably gonna die. Oh my god. I hate myself so much. Okay. So Rachel's not dead though, right? Okay, that sucks. Oh. Damn it. Okay, Eric's dead. Full clearance. Clarice came back from the dead and killed Eric. I made a bad call. Who's that, Jason? Suits you to mess with a Marine. Salim. 370 feet. Um, ambush. I uh, know. It's Jason. What the hell? Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It don't happen too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. Uh... I don't mean you any harm. I swear. Oh shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? There's the American with the gun. Let's make nice, boys. Yes, I'll be too enthusiastic. Be friends, but we can be allies. That's something I can get on board with. Jason and Selene fought together but remained enemies. Okay. There we go. I was waiting for a point where the action halted. Okay, it it's over two hours. I got so invested in that, and I did not want to end during that giant climactic battle. I'm so annoyed that what his face died. So I'm trying. I'm trying to piece. I'm trying to figure out everything that happened. The only one we saw die was Jason. The the bearing thing said Rachel just got infected. I'm I'm annoyed that I well a couple things, and I knew this would come to bite me in the butt. Clarice, you know I knew. I should have left her. I should have gotten rid of her when I had the chance, but no, I wanted to see it through. I might have gotten a trophy or something because of it. I have to check the trophies I got and, you know, whatever. But it's what it is. First playthrough, one death, not too bad. Again, it said Rachel got infected. It didn't say she's dead, and we didn't, like, see her die. So 
I, I guess until we see her, she's alive. Hopefully we don't like see her later and she's a monster like Clarice or something. I can see that happening. But Jason's alive. Salim is alive for sure. They're right in front of us. Nick got away. Eric's the only one who's dead. At least, <laughs> at least the drama's resolved, right? <laughs> the relationship drama. Yeah, like I said, we don't know Rachel's fate, but I'm assuming as of now, she's alive. Alive until proven otherwise. A lot happened in this episode. We learned a lot. We got a lot more of those journals. So like I said, obviously, the disease that Mary got, we're, we're well aware that that's the disease everybody else is getting that Clarice got. And it probably has to do with even the people who died from these monsters coming back, you know? So I guess even the dead, I guess, can be infected. Or maybe if you're infected before you die, you come back. I don't know. It's like zo it's like zombification. <laughs> but yeah, I, c I could say a lot. But I gotta end this. <laughs> I gotta end this episode. I'm not sure if I want to make it one one biggie or if I want to split into two. That remains to be seen. So we shall see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm having a blast with this game. If you couldn't tell, so intense because of the art, because of all like the army military stuff. A lot of action as well. I'm digging it. I really am. Like. I, not that I wasn't enjoying it in the, you know, the first episode, but once we got to, like, the House of Ashes, and it's just been building and building, getting better and better. I love it, and I can't wait. There's a chance maybe my next recording, it feels like we're a ways in, maybe I'll be able to finish this in my next recording, depending how long I go. We shall see. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification bell so you know when the rest of these go up. Um, share the video with family, friends, loved ones, and I'll see you all next time. So take care, and bye-bye.